safety first. Everybody, when they first start with ham radio, get the handsets, the HTs, and they're great until you put them in your cup holder. And then does this floppy freaking that drives me mental. show you how to fix this welcome to the first episode of the ham radio rookie i am ve6 sfx with hts i know you can buy these spider octopus things that fit into your cup holder a couple things come to mind is one is i still don't know what i don't know and i don't know what i want so i don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on stuff like that the other thing is is that if you look at like say my baofeng that cup holder costs more than the radio. Solution. Foam rubber, and you throw it in the cup. And you throw your radio in. That's it. Now stick around to the very end and I'm gonna show you how to get one of these for free. And to hopefully be into actually watching the rest of the video first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go into on shape it's the computer aided design software that i use you know what to tell you the truth in Lightburn, the software that i'm using to do the laser cutting you'll see that in a second you'd be able to draw this out what we're going to do here is to measure out the radios i've got two different radios here um, one is a Woshun and the other is a Baofeng. Uh, they both vary in size, but both of them are about two inches and some change wide. And they vary in width. So there are two different widths. So I've made things so that there are two different ways to do this. Now you do all the drawing with the dangling hoo-haws and the thingamajobs and the whatnots and the thingamajobs over there and some dimensions and voila! You've got a PDF that you're going to throw into the light burn. Again, some of this is probably not going to make a whole lot of sense to a lot of people, but the ones who know, know. And this is going to be more than enough to get them along the way. Now, once you've done that, you were going to set up the laser. I've got some two inch foam that I had scrap laying around. Granted, this cuts very slowly and the kerf is really wide. Now stick with me. Remember, I said at the end of this video, there's a reason why you want to stick around. For those out there going, I don't have a laser cutter or um, I don't have access to stuff like this. Absolutely, you probably are right. If you don't, you don't. And if you don't want them, that's fine. So let me show you two different methods on how to make this. One is to use a dollar store sponge. The other is to use a dollar store pool noodle. Now, once you have these chunks of plastic, you can take them and you can dice them up and use your knife and all that other stuff. Man, you can even use some power tools for this. There are drawbacks to these and one of them is, now I'm not a pretty boy, but these are freaking ugly. I hate them. When you're done cutting, you end up with something that looks like this. And I think that's kind of pretty. I landed on the packing foam that I end up using for a lot of the props and special effects or even some of my camera gear. And the reason why is, is one is that squishy. So it's not going to depress any of the buttons on the radio. It's not going to reset anything. Uh, if you make this too tight, potentially it's going to be squishing buttons and you know who knows where you're going to transmit and somebody's going to get their nose out of joint. 
I like things to look nice and neat. And that's where I come in with this. Because I'm new, I'm going to try to buy some uh, subscribers. So this is how I'm going to do it. The first 10 people to make comments down below and subscribe to my channel, I'll reach out to you and get your mailing address and I will send you one of these fancy dancy cup holders. Ham Radio Crash Course and Ham Radio 2.0 and DX Commander and the Ham Radio Dude. And there's a lot of you guys out there. If you want something like this branded for yourself, you want me to make you some? Kinda, give me a call. Send me an email, let's see if we can do something. I'm gonna leave files to this uh, down below so that if you have a laser cutter or a hand cutter or, or a printer or a 3D printer, whatever, I'll leave you some files that you can use to um, cut this out should you want to. Feel free to leave a message down below if this interests you enough that uh, I make a few and I can send them out. I'm starting to realize that I can make them pretty cheap, pretty quick, and when they're squished down, they can go in letter mail. So, you know, postage and handling and a real cheap little setup, and you can probably have one of these for yourself. Don't forget to hit subscribe. You might win one of these little bad boys. Win? Get? I don't know. I'm, it's a bribe. And uh, yeah, like, comment, tell me what you think is wrong because I'm sure some people out there are going to come up with all sorts of interesting reasons why it is the worst idea on the planet. And I'd love to hear it. Leave it all down below.